In this example, we'll see how MBS QuickRef can be used to assist us in finding available DASTY free space. Let's go into Member Demo 3, which is the JCL for executing Quick Select, um, which allows us to download the uh, MVS Quick Ref database from the distribution media. According to the comments, we need 26,562 tracks. That's a lot of space. So we decide we want to put this file on our TSO prefixed volumes, that is, any volume that starts with the prefix TSO. So we'll use the fast path of NVS QuickRef. To do so, we put the cursor on the command line, type QW. S is the parameter for doing DASD free space. And we want to look at all volumes which start with TSO. The, the uh, asterisk is used as a wildcard character. So this brings up NVS QuickRef, and it shows all of the vol sears that are prefixed with TSO. Now the trouble is that it's an alpha order according to vol sear. What we would like to have is the uh, free tracks that are available on all volumes um, in descending sequence. So let's issue a sort command. Sort column 5 in descending order and hit the enter key. And this time we see that the free tracks are all sorted in a descending sequence. Now what we're going to do is we want to pick the volume that'll just get by and with our 26,562 tracks, 26,321 wouldn't do it, but 26,977 would do it, and that's TSO 17, volume TSO 17. So while I have it highlighted here, I'm going to hit Control C to copy that to the, um, the scratch pad. F4 takes us completely out of NDS Quick Ref. Now let's come down and put in the vol sear. But we see that this vol sear has a symbolic parameter dvol. So let's go up to dvol and do the, the control V to do a paste. So we have successfully looked up DASD free space, we found a volume that contained enough free space to satisfy our 26,562 track requirement. We have tailored the JCL, and this job is ready to be submitted.